A lot of people want to know why I am the dragon priest. Well, pretty straightforward. For years in my business, I chose the dragon, two different colored dragons actually, to be a part of my business logos. And I have the right to own them because they mean something to me. And how they mean something to me is that they are the dragons outside a temple in Japan. I have become a fire-breathing dragon in my own way. I am the guy who will see things in a different way. I am the guy who can predict things pretty accurately, almost to 100%, because God has gifted me to do that. It is difficult to be that guy who has that discernment. It is hard to not be able to just walk in a room and enjoy all the time. But what I often see all the time is misbehavior of people who are not like me, who are not wanting to live in the life of God. So I am that man, that fire-breathing dragon, that dragon priest who will burn your ass for your lies. I won't do it immediately, but I will find a way that you'll find that out eventually. You see, I might call your company to say that you are a great person of potential, but at the same time I might alert your company that what's happening in your situation is that you don't know how to train people and you don't know how to stock the shelves and you don't know how to staff the place. Now, that's probably backwards because we have to staff the place, then we have to train the people, then we have to stock the shelves. But it's not backwards because our whole fucking company premise is that our job is to sell the vended products off the shelves. Now, if you walk across the street to a different shop, they have a totally self-selling place. In other words, you walk in, you pick up what you want to buy, you walk to a self-checkout, and you buy it. I'm not sure I like that completely, but I do like the freedom I have to walk in without somebody pissing all over me or paying attention to what I'm buying. That's great. I also like the fact that they have some fun things, and I like that. But in life, we have the right to our rights. And my rights to my property belong to me, not you, and not to any person from a family of origin. And that is true. Should I die, all my property goes to the one woman I love and her children. And if she's so fucking arrogant that she can't be in my life now, well, that's on her life before God. But I promise you, she's going to be behaving in a way that's different because of who she's with today. And people will just look at her and go, what the hell did you do? 